Here we will know about the muscular system. The muscular system is responsible for the movement of the human body. The body's muscular system consists of about 650 muscles that aid in movement, blood flow and other bodily functions. Muscles are special type of tissues of human body that possess the ability of contraction and relaxation. There are three types of muscle. Skeletal muscle which is connected to bone and helps with voluntary movement. Smooth muscle which is found inside organs and helps to move substances through organs. Cardiac muscle which is found in the heart and helps pump blood. Let us learn how muscles work. Generally, muscles work in pairs. If one of them contracts, the bone is then pulled in that direction and the other muscle gets relaxed and vice versa. Thus, in order to move a bone, the pair of muscles has to work together. Some of our body muscles are directly connected to the bone. Some muscles have round, white, rope-like fibers at their ends. These fibrous structures are called tendons. They connect to the bone. We can feel tendons in several parts of our body which include above the elbow, below the knee and near the ankle. Most of our body movements depend on muscles, bones and joints. Bone movement depends upon the contractions and expansions of muscles. We will now see what skeletal system is. Skeletal system consisting of bones and other connective tissues protects and supports the body tissues and internal organs. The skeleton not only helps us move, but it's also involved in the production of blood cells and the storage of calcium. The teeth are also part of the skeletal system, but they aren't considered bones. The skeletal system in human is a major connective tissue system that is made of organs such as bones, ligaments and joints, tendons and cartilages. Bones The most important organ of the skeletal system is the bones. Human skeleton is made up of two not six bones that in coordination not only provide support and protection to the viscera but also produce blood cells for the body from the bone marrow. Ligaments and Joints The ligaments are made of fibrous collagen tissue that attaches one bone to the other bone. This attachment forms into joints and allows the bone to move in a particular direction. Tendons Tendons are important skeletal system organs which join the muscles to the bones hence they are more flexible so as to provide greater range of movement. Cartilage It is soft and flexible connective tissue. Cartilage not only plays a role in maintaining and forming the shape of human ear and nose as well as other organs, but also protects the bones against friction forces. Here, let us learn about bones. Our body has different bones which are combined together to form a single structure or system which is called skeleton. We know that the muscles are joined to the bones which help them move. Similarly, two bones are joined together in a special way by fibers which are called ligaments. Now, let us learn about jaw bone. If we open our mouth and move the lower jaw up and down as well as sideways, then we can feel the joint in the bones near our ear. Here, the lower jaw bone is joined to the skull. We also have fixed joints at both sides of our face. Let us know what is clavicle bone. The clavicle is the bone which runs horizontally between the top of the breast bone and the shoulder blade. The clavicle is also called the collar bone. It helps in connecting the arm with the body. Two bones project from the shoulder called shoulder bones. Here, let us study about the importance of ribs in our body. The walls of the chest are made up of ribs 
muscles and the skin. The ribs are attached to an angle to the spine. If you move your finger along one of your ribs, you will notice that it extends downward from the spine. Ribs are curiously bent and join the chest bone and the backbone together to form a rib cage. This case acts as a shield to some of the important parts like lungs, heart, etc., which are inside the case. Let us study about pelvic girdle. Pelvic girdle is present just below the waist of our body, which is made up of pelvic bones. They enclose the portion of our body below the stomach, which helps you to sit. Now let us know the importance of skull. The skull is a bony structure which is made up of several bones that combine together. Skull protects the brain and supports the other soft tissues present in the head. The joints between the skull bones are fused which are called fixed joints. The following are the four different types of joints which are present in human body. Ball and socket joint, hinge joint, neck joint, Fix it joint. Click each tab to know more. A ball and socket joint. To understand this clearly, take a fused bulb and half shell of a coconut. Now place the bulb inside the coconut shell and rotate it. A joint is made by fitting a ball inside a socket called a ball and socket joint. In this joint, a bone can rotate easily in all the directions. Examples of a ball and socket joint are shoulder joints and hip joints. Hinge joint. Hinge joints are formed between two or more bones. Hinge joints move like a hinge only in one plane that is up to 180 degrees only. This is a joint which can be compared to that of a hinge in the door. Examples of a hinge joint in our body are the elbow joint and the knee joint. Neck joint. Neck joint is different from both the hinge joint and the ball and socket joint. This joint helps us to move our head up and down and side to side but not totally. Neck joint is also called pivotal joint. Exit joints. Fixed joints are also called immovable joints. Fixed joints do not allow the bones to move. Let us observe the fixed joint in our body. When you open your mouth, you can move only the lower jaw easily. But it is impossible for us to move the upper jaw because there is a fixed joint between the upper jaw and the rest of the head. Examples of fixed joint in our body are bones of the skull, teeth in the upper jaw.